Hi, Dr. Centeno, and this is part of my cervical vertigo series. Now, I've seen lots of people on social media threads just post a random x-ray asking if that x-ray shows that they have cervical vertigo. Now, regrettably, the average x-ray is not going to be able to show that, but there are some hints you can get from maybe a cervical x-ray report. So for example, if you've got arthritis in the C23 or C34 facet joints or C0, C1 or C12, sometimes they can see that on a cervical x-ray and that might be called facet hypertrophy on the x-ray report. Um, you could actually see on flexion extension x-rays and that's where they have you look down, take a picture, have you look up, take a picture. Uh, that there's too much motion or uh, too much translation at C23 or C34 or opening of the atlantodental interspace or what's called the ADI. So those are things to look for on your cervical x-ray reports. Again, a static cervical x-ray, less helpful. Cervical flexion extension x-rays, more helpful. Hopefully that helps you with getting to which structure in your upper neck is causing your cervical vertigo, which is how you get better from this condition. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Hey, get this out to more patients by like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks so much.